What is up, guys? Welcome to round number four. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Jeff Leonard with Old Faithful Mystic Mine versus Melvin Torres. This is a serious competitor here playing Tri Brigade Zoo. Tri Brigade's one of the decks getting a lot of support here in Lightning Overdrive. Can left, uh, Jeff's Mystic Mine take down a deck that has kind of risen from the ashes. I mean, it was around, right, last format, but Tri -brigade, not uh, as powerful as it is now, arguably. Right? Yeah, because there was no real way to search uh, Revolt, but now that with the new Link 2, you're able to search it out now, so it's a lot more of a meta contender now. Yeah, before it was more like a rogue strategy. Uh, I was still getting some tops here and there, don't get me wrong, but now... Like Mel, like uh, Andres mentioned. Yeah, and now much like, more consistent. And it's really good too because they're playing with uh, with the zoo cards too. So you're able to drop a Dryden along with all your tri brigade stuff. So this can be really strong. A lot of them use like Chakanine to go into the the Ferrajet, and that one summons out the uh, the tri brigade cards so that you're able to make it or cheat out those links. Jeff Leonard is a uh, very familiar face with the with the PPG uh, events. Goes to pretty much a good amount of them, and he's always playing the same deck. Infamous. And he makes it there. He gets there with Mystic what Mind. Can, uh, yeah, I mean, it's Rogue, definitely. I've never had the uh, opportunity to play against him, but it's just incredible that he's still playing this deck and enjoys playing it. And it's just the strategy. I mean, I'm looking at the deck list right now, and it looks... Pretty much like a carbon copy from the very last list he was playing. So <laughs> this so man has not had to. Oh, actually, no, no, he's playing Pod of Prosperity. Or oh, so I've heard. I, 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 I apologize. I'm looking at it right now. I, I went right over that because it's. I think he was playing Pod of Desires before. Yes, nice so, little upgrade to yeah. his deck there. But um, in reality, I mean, if it's not broken, why try to fix it, right? You're not wrong. You know, just add a little bit more consistency. And Pot of Prosperity does that pretty darn well. Yeah, I think the biggest problem, too, about Pot of Desires is if you were to banish, like, let's say even three Mystic Mind, which is highly unlikely, but I think now that alleviates all that. Now he can just freely play. Got the Double Dragon right now. I don't, yeah, I don't think you can play Mystic Mind in remote duels. I don't think that's uh, something they allow because you can't really um, resolve the the, the goddess uh, the goddess oracle card. Try to pull up Melvin Torres' uh, deck list to see if maybe he's on something like spicy. But it looks just normal. I mean, he's playing three copies of Book of Moon in the main. I think the that new was Book of Moon. No, just a regular Book oh, of Moon. Oh, regular Book of Moon. Regular okay. Book of Moon. And I want to see people start playing that new Book of Moon. It looks really good. It's just it has a really, really steep cost. You know, being able to, like, having to discard. It's like Discarding a cost is big, yeah. yeah Twin Twister, I mean, has the same cost, but at least it two for twos as, as far as, like, removing yeah. assets. Here, your, your opponent's not losing those creatures. I no, mean, they can just... lose them for their combo, but... Is that good enough? It I depends on which deck, too, because, like, against, like, Dragon Link, if you were to book something in, like, one of those zones that you can't link into anymore, it could be big there. Or even against just, like, Pure Zoo, just booking the regular, like, the normal summon. Or even Prank Kids that we saw last round. Booking that initial normal summon can really hinder the deck a lot if they don't have a really good extender. With the Imperial Order. That looks like game to me. Looking at Jeff Leonard's list, I don't think he has an out in the main deck. That <laughs> He has one <laughs> trap card in his deck. He's like, are you kidding me, man? Yeah, the one trap card that he plays is Metaverse. And uh, that was a pretty fast win there. Basically just activated Exodia against Jeff. So hopefully we get to see Jeff go first this time. Do his standard Mystic Mind things. We're going to get to see some pretty cool cards. A lot of old cards, too. You know, like if you played back in the day, you know, I do see Jeff maining Prohibition. I think, we know what, I think I know what we're calling. <laughs> it depends because he may be it calling. It does depend. Yeah, he may be trying to Twin? call like something to stop 
maybe like a cosmic. I, th- I don't think twin, twin is that or, much uh, of a format. Cosmic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, cosmics now it seems like everybody's opted for cosmic over twin. Yeah. The only thing too with Melvin's deck, um, in other decks it's really bad to discard cards, but in it just so happens in Tri Brigade you benefit off of discarding cards. So maybe we see the twin twisters come in. Jeff probably gonna play cards like uh, field barrier things like that to stop those cards from coming down. But um, we see Melvin literally open just a one of Imperial Order, and there's nothing really Jeff can do about it. Uh, Jeff is playing a lot of cards to go uh, first against cards like Evenly Match, things like that. He's playing like Dark Bribe, he's playing Curse Seal. Uh, but we're gonna get to see how Jeff really, how this Jeff, or how this Mystic Mind variant plays against this meta right now because. I think when he was playing, it was like a one to two deck format. Right now, it's a, there's a lot, a lot of decks going around, a lot of different like strategies and stuff like that. So maybe Mystic Mind may be like a not so much a meta call, I guess. You know, like like a, like a rogue deck that you know can like cheese out wins. But we, don't, I mean, he feels like it's the best deck, and he he continues playing it. I don't know exactly how old Jeff is. He's, I mean, he's, I don't know how long he's been playing for either, but he's definitely one of the familiar, familiar faces that we've seen here at PPG. If you basically say the Jeff name, everybody knows him here. You know, we've seen him play a lot, and we've seen him play the, uh, the Mystic Mind. Yeah, Jeff is definitely. If you're subscribed, the... you should also have a Jeff Leonard emote. Oh, yeah, I so think so. So if you guys have those, go ahead and drop them in the chat. Let's see if they're still See active. all the subscribers. I definitely saw one earlier when we sp- we brought them out. So, or when we brought them up. I don't know if it's just on Twitch or on YouTube. <laughs> we see the Jeff Leonard's there <laughs> on Twitch. Yeah, definitely on Twitch. <laughs> God, the best emote. We do see Melvin. If you guys can't see it, zoom in a little bit. Melvin with the imposter token. Oof. Uh, if you haven't got yours already, the Nightbot will post it up and you guys can get your own there. Yeah, some uh, PPG imposter tokens are pretty sweet. Yeah, definitely some of the coolest looking tokens. I have my own set too. Definitely some of the coolest looking tokens. Be the talk of your locals. And if you haven't already signed up for the remote dual invitational, go ahead and get your... Uh, Invite to the Invitational. That happens uh, basically June 20th, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, June 20th, yeah. So if you haven't already done that, play for the same prize and these guys are doing. and uh, Much less competition, I'll tell you that. Um, but it's still pretty good to start getting practice against people, especially if you're like in a remote area, um, whether, whatever country you're in. Maybe you just don't have locals in full swing. Obviously, everybody's under different restrictions based on where you live. Where, where you live. So it's great to kind of just get that refresher if you have it. And uh, remote tools has almost come the new norm. Uh, at least people people have at least played in one before. So yeah. it feels like everybody's kind of got their feet wet. So there's almost no reason to do it unless you're just completely unavailable or have something you know locally going on at your local game store. So. I definitely don't know why Melvin side. Maybe he probably just doesn't have cards to side, and he shotgun the Lance here. I guess to stop like the pot of prosperity but mm, yeah that makes sense i guess he probably just doesn't have a lot of side cards to play against mystic mind oh yeah i mean against decks like this you have more dead cards and uh, useful cards to side in so i can see a card like artifact lands here if you get that one opportunity it does something and it does something more than like you know whatever an x card that's not gonna yeah. do anything in this matchup you see jeff leonard's set two got tanky coming down this is going to start the entire engine i was looking through prices and uh tanky ultis are about 200 dollars right now at this moment so shout out to everybody who kept those diamond hands like what we talk about Hmm. wild wild returns you see him uh jeff i mean i don't think looking at his list right now he doesn't play any hand traps Actually, he plays no hand traps at all. So, what could be his two sets? Yeah, I don't think he's ever played a, a hand trap before. But yeah. we'll see and if he has anything to uh, 
Demise of the land. Demise of the land to activate a field spell. Well, we already know what field spell he's getting. I think he's getting diagram, but oh <laughs> no, just kidding. Diagram. <laughs> So, uh, Mystic Mind coming down. The race is on. He's got what he needs. And he's going to probably just set a Dryden right now. And if Jeff tries to do anything, I mean, Jeff really doesn't have to do anything. We do know that Melvin plays Harpy's Feather Duster, Twin Twister in the side. He, he has Red Reboot, but it wouldn't really do much right now. But he's also maining three Cosmics. So I guarantee you all of those cards are in the deck right now. So it's just a matter of time until he draws one of them. Jeff draws. Let's see what he, uh, how he maneuvers this now. Another pot. Oh, look, that's the goddess of the oracle card. Mm -hmm. That's the one that basically drones your opponent's deck. It stacks the top deck or top three cards of your deck. It's going to be good to make sure that Melvin uh, stays as far away from his outs as possible. Unless, of course, there's triple twin at the top. <laughs> so Melvin also does play Pot of Desires. So that may be something that uh, Jeff doesn't want to put at the top either. So that way he doesn't lose information of what he's going to draw. I mean, yeah, TC, he could have done that. But, I mean, I, I don't know why you wouldn't just straight up cosmic and start playing that would be probably the funniest thing two times in a row <laughs> yeah, no, that would be he, unreal oh he we have field barrier coming up too now so field barrier is going to be able to protect that mystic mine and it's just not looking good right now for melvin Pull up Field Barrier real quick just to see exactly what the wording on that card is. But it's a really old card, too. Field Barrier, I believe, says they have to get rid of the Field Barrier before getting yeah. rid of the Field Spell. Well, it says they can't be destroyed. So, mm -hmm. like, like I said, Melvin does play Cosmic, mm -hmm. and it can oh, play right through Field Barrier. Wow, really? Yeah. That's pretty bad. But with this, uh, this Goddess card, uh, he's got Final Countdown going, too. What is that? That is Final Countdown. I don't think that's Final Countdown. Is that not Final Countdown? No. I know that's like a countdown card pretty much that basically after a certain amount of turns. Might be a uh, Cauldron of the Old Man. No, Cauldron of Yeah, it's definitely Cauldron of the Old Man, yeah. Yeah, Cauldron of the Old Man. When this card is activated, place one counter on it. Once per turn during your standby phase, place one counter on this card. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Gain 500 for each counter. Inflict 300 for each counter. Yeah, so it's just going to continuously keep burning him. Yep. Man, that card's unlimited too. <laughs> so he could just keep playing it. Does he play wave motion too? I would assume. Man. Uh, he does not. Oh. There's no wave motion. So he plays one ca Cauldron of the Old Man, but I don't see a real, like, win condition. I think he's just trying to... He may be just trying to, like, deck his opponent out, because there's no uh, cards... I mean, Cauldron of the Old Man will be the only one that burns. He could also gain him a bunch of life, so, like, yeah. Jeff can just, like, be at infinite life. Yeah. Not infinite, but a lot. So this Cauldron Old Man is just basically going to be slowly ticking at his life points. But then again, too, he's just in the Goddess and make sure that he basically never draws those cards. I mean, I guess technically... Mm -hmm. Until he gets very low in cards, yeah, yeah. it won't make a difference. Because mm -hmm. Cauldron, in a way, can act like Final Countdown, too, because once you got, like, 20 counters on that, like... yeah. But you would think if he's doing that type of strategy, maybe he's tr I would think he'd have a bunch of cards to, like, do damage. But I'm looking at the list right now, and it's... All you need is probably just one, you know, protect it. 
Yeah. And you're good? I can see that. It's going to be a slow, painful death. Death, pretty much. Same activate another tanky. Maybe just try to thin the deck. Yeah, get closer to your uh, cosmics. Yeah, closer. Seems just discarding cards now. gonna stack the top of the deck now just make sure he doesn't draw any of those he's gonna set another one and pass so this is just gonna be maybe until Melvin concedes well, cauldron should be able to do a lot of work with those counters yeah Jeff probably holding, uh, you know, solemn judgment or some type of protection in the back row as well. The only problem, as at least with this commentating, um, it's just there's not really much going on. Jeff is just yeah. sitting on his mystic mind. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, there's not much. There's not do. much we can do. It's the same thing over and over again. Just looking at the top of the cards. Top. <laughs> it's there. the, the same like, thing. Right, we're good. There's no twin. Coast is clear, boys. Pass turn. <laughs> and we got Melvin literally <laughs> drawing the top card and just throwing it away. Just waiting, hopefully, just to, like, draw into <laughs> something. Man. Yeah, look, he's, at, look at his stare. I'm glad we had the player cams enabled here. And we got uh, Jeff just looking again. Sometimes the face is just a uh, face reaction is just enough. Melvin looks so sad. You're not wrong. Yeah, he's just going <laughs> to scoop it up. After a while, it just gets to the point where... I'm done here. Yeah. <laughs> well, an eye for an eye. Uh, Jeff getting hit with that turn one. Imperial order. Game two, Melvin just getting locked into submission. Cauldron. Oracle. Field barrier. Mystic mind. Just putting in that work. His spirit was crushed. Yeah, well, at least Melvin's going to be able to go first in this game three. Uh, he's really going to have to just pray to the Yugi gods for that uh, Imperial Order. That'll make quick work of Game 3. Otherwise, if Jeff uh, gets any opportunity to just dig on dig, I mean, he, he resolved, what, double pot of duality that, that game? Yeah, double pot of duality. So he was just, able to dig. Just dig hard. for everything that he needs. Yeah, I mean, but we'll see Melvin. He's probably going to have in all the back row removal cards too. So maybe he'll be able to like set those. Whenever Jeff tries to set any of his spells or traps, he could just banish them. So, Jeff's record today, I believe these two players are at table seven. So they should be X1 in today's event. I mean, table seven out of a total of uh, 40 plus tables. Pretty darn good. Now, I would assume that that's doing is well. A nice I think he's only game. lost one game yeah, so yeah. far. So. so, both of these players high up there. No, he's X1. Four. I believe he's X1 right now. So. He'll be able to at least make top 16. Hopefully, he'll make top 8 and then be able to uh, get some prize support. You yes, know, top even 16 top 8. Get prizes, yeah. Top you, 16 get prizes. Top 8, play it out for the glory. That beautiful limited edition red uh, PPG winner mat. Very fresh. Very, very nice, Matt. Very high quality, too. I don't know very if you nice, guys have yeah. seen any of them or felt any of them yet. Very high quality mats. And they're not just going to get destroyed in the wash like some of the older mats. So They have a nice little gold trim to them, too. Yep. Really nice. If, you, if you're unable to make it to one of our events, you can always order them online, if I'm yep. not mistaken. Yeah, there's, they a, have there's a non-top-cut like pro play tour, non -top cut one that you can buy if you just want a nice, you know, clean... You know, with the zones, uh, play Two mat, player mat as know, well. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. It doesn't have a lot of stuff going on. No artwork. Um, very small logo. It's just very 
clean cut. Yeah. So if you want something like that, uh, definitely check out the Pro Play Games website. It's under the Yu-Gi-Oh! official playmap. We have one for other games as well, too. We have it for Digimon. Dragon Ball. We should be get, yeah, Dragon Ball, right? too. Yeah. Definitely, okay. if you if you get a chance, check out their store and see exactly what you can get. Oh, yeah. Get rock out some pro play gear. Yeah, we're just getting. Uh, we should have a uh, an apparel drop on Monday. So if you guys have been dying, I know we've been getting a lot of messages. When are you guys bringing the PBG apparel back? It's back, boys. It's back. Make sure you wish list whatever items you like on our website, so that when they get dropped, you can uh, get into that. It's a small drop, but definitely really nice if you wanna. Rock your favorite, rock your favorite store, you know. Definitely one of the premier, pretty much the premier store too. Absolutely. You know that you you say pro play games, or that you're Everyone in association with. Everybody about. knows exactly what you're talking about. Even when I first started, you know that was like a very very exclusive thing to be a part of. You know, everybody wanted to be at those events. Everybody wanted to be able to play with those players because you know they breed some of the best players. You know, you have. A lot of high caliber players play testing and learning things you know and it's just it, it comes with a lot a lot of weight behind it and it's really nice very cool <laughs> i have eight pbg hoodies five PBG that's shirts. exactly that's what you want to do <laughs> so lelex it's been a while like there's a lot of new decks there's a whole new meta because of lightning overdrive which is the event or uh the new set that just came out but we have uh, Tri-Brigade Zoo, which got a little bump with having the Link 2, but we have Jeff Leonard playing Old Reliable in Mystic Mine. And if you miss any of these matchups, make sure you guys check out our YouTube channel. Every time we host a regional, we upload all the matches, so you can actually go over, hear the commentary, maybe just even just watch the gameplay in the background. Sometimes you just learn a lot about how the way these players uh, maneuver their decks, and you essentially just teach yourself. It's very Mine very is not great. limited, no. Mine, no. Is, mine is still at three, I believe. Yes, it is actually. Yeah. Konami, uh, they like to have cards like that, and it's not looking good for Melon because he's setting two and passing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, but if one of those is an Imperial Order, that would be really good. Oh my god! Oh Jeff no. plays Lightning Storm. This is no. Oh no! He plays. Lightning he plays three Storm. Lightning Storm in the main. With a shared ride, that's all he has? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't have any. That was a twin. There's no way that was no, a twin. No, that's a Book of Moon. It's a Book of Moon. I don't. Why would he keep Book of Moon in? I mean, like you said, he probably doesn't have too much to bring in. I think, TC, I think you had it backwards. <laughs> we, Melvin was going to set everything. Jeff, on the other side of know. Lightning Storm, he's normally the one getting Lightning Storm. The uh, the the clapback is gonna be real here. I don't I don't know exactly what's in Jeff's hand, but um, they both just passed. <laughs> Oracle is gonna give him uh, a little bit of an edge here as Melvin tries to dig for something to get rolling. Jeff's gonna deny him that. It it could be that maybe Melvin doesn't want to play into stuff, play into the Mystic Mind, play into maybe the uh. The demise of the land, maybe that's exactly what he's doing. But Jeff is just going to keep stacking the deck. And he's just going to stop. I mean, first time stop. rearranging here. We didn't. We haven't yeah, seen him rearrange in a he's while. He's just looking at him. He's just making sure that there's nothing that's going to stop his Mystic Mind play. Oh, man. I do see monsters in Melvin's hand, though. So maybe he's just like, like I said, not trying to play into the Mystic Mind. Yeah. And just trying to draw. His, I mean, Jeff really isn't going to do a lot of damage until he draws Cauldron, so he just basically has free draws, free turns. <laughs> Alvin just sitting there. <laughs> no, they're X1. To me. They're 2-1 they're, they're right no, now. Yeah, they're both 2-1. Winner here is going to go to a 4-1 record and have a pretty darn good shot at the top 16. Yep. He's just going to keep stacking and uh, make sure he doesn't get any of his power cards, <laughs> like spell and trap removal. But uh, This is so simple yet so fun to watch. Unfortunately, Eddie, there's not really any heart of the cards because Jeff is making sure that <laughs> doesn't happen. <laughs> He's rearranging the heart of the cards. You can't do that. Pulling a band of Keith. 
at some point you kind of uh, you feel bad for Melvin because he really just can't do anything. That goddess of the oracle card is literally not letting him do anything. But again, like I said, the uh, the only burn card that he has in the deck is the one cauldron of the old man. So Jeff is really not going to do a lot of damage. I mean, he plays three of Mono Iwato, so maybe he just pokes and then lets it bounce back. But it's not a real a lot of damage that's going to happen. Yeah, kill. We did see that once. Uh, if you watch some of the uh, the ads that play, we saw that once that there was yeah. triple twin Legit twisters happened. that they revealed. I don't think that can happen again in like a Jeff's lifetime. If it does, no, is, Jeff I don't is, know what the numbers are. If yeah, that Jeff happens. is not gonna let that happen. <laughs> At this point, I don't think it's possible to happen, but um, on the first activation is where you can see it. You yeah. can see the triple twin because you have no... But after the first activation, you can It will happen again. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah. like I said, too, uh, Melvin's playing a lot of back row removal. He's got three twin twisters. He's got the Harpy's Feather Duster. He plays Red Rebu, which is kind of like a pseudo back row removal, but he also plays three Cosmic in the main. So he's got a bunch of cards that are going to allow him to get rid of the back row he's activating shared rides so whenever jeff is going to add cards he's going to be able to draw also to like mitigate the effect of goddess so he, now A he has to bit. see two new cards yeah but it's it's really bad man this is this is a really bad situation for melvin because i don't think he has an out for any of the back row yet but like i said there's not really anything happening yet so I saw a spell at the bottom. I don't think Jeff liked that spell because he mm -hmm. left it all the way at the bottom. No, spells are probably not what you want your opponent to see. Unless it's like a Book of Moon, which Melvin yeah, still has Yeah, which doesn't do but anything. The only thing yeah. would be like the Book, the Amano Iwato. Most spells are pretty powerful. That's going to be his uh, Achilles heel here. Twin Twister, Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, we, ha we can't see his hand, but it, hopefully that's the case too because maybe he's just waiting for something to do. Sorry, this had to happen to you, Mel. I'm gonna show this. <laughs> so yeah, he's able to activate the Tribegate card because they both control no monsters. So maybe he's gonna try to make a push for something now. Yeah, Chappie, that was the, that was what I was having trouble with in the beginning because uh, I only saw the Cauldron, so I thought maybe he had like a deck out strategy, but that's really the only way he. Uh, that's all you need. Yeah, that's all you really need. That's the only thing he has. Is he playing Final Countdown? He's not. He, no, okay, yeah. I mean... He is playing um, Left Arm Offering, though. So okay. that would be, like, an oh, easier okay. way to get searching. to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, he digs so much in his deck. And, yeah. like, it's a continuous spell. So once you draw the first Cauldron, like, you don't really need another one? The only thing that would be bad about that is... you have so many, like, counter, uh, like continuous spells. But then, and then you then use you're your take up your back though. Room. That would be the only thing I'd be worried about. Like, you, would, if that somehow gets, like negated or gets taken off the board you lose all your win count there i guess you just try your best to not let that happen <laughs> yeah you play all the cards <laughs> to stop it yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> to find yeah melvin probably just wanted to play some simple Yu-Gi-Oh and uh listen here when i get that me when i got that message from jess leonard saying that he was going to be in attendance i already i, already I felt for people yeah i felt for people that were oh. coming to it oh that was another time maybe that Jeff happened, rearranged there too, so maybe that maybe Melvin's creeping closer to like a cosmic yeah. or a twin or something. Almost five hundred viewers, guys. Four seventy eight. Shout out to everyone here. Wow, Harpy's feather his duster. Own Harpy's feather. Another shared ride. Jesus, third shared ride, and Leonard with all the back row hate, which Melvin is like, man, I wish I had that. That's what that's what Melvin needs. He's just discarding cards now, discarding <laughs> the driver. Pure vanilla beatdown. So actually, no, the uh, the they have time a little bit more time. Yeah, yeah this they is have a little the bit more time. time. This is uh, the feature match is usually it's on its own. Has time. like an extra five minutes yeah. or something. Yeah, they have their own timer next to them. It's just the time you're seeing right now on the yeah. sh on the stream is for the actual round. Yeah. Driver is the best card in this matchup. 
Left arm offering, and now he's going to get the cauldron now. Yeah, this is, uh, this is where it's going to come into play now. There we go. He's got the he's got the cauldron. Yeah, with the left arm offering to search it. So, unfortunately, he doesn't have any cards no in. Cards but in hand. when you have your whole setup, you don't really need cards in hand. Yeah. So. I mean, unfortunately, he only has one unknown right now. But. Yeah, but he's continuously stacking. So. When the Mystic Mind player uses Duster. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm watching like 2015 Yu-Gi-Oh where they're <laughs> setting and passing. And yeah, now is when it, this uh, the, the time starts ticking on Melvin. Oh, we don't we don't know exactly if he has uh, cosmic. I think Melvin is a good enough and well versed player to know, you know, time is ticking away. So I don't think he's uh, he's holding a cosmic. He has a twister and reboot. Yes, he is not playing the game at all. But if I was him, I would like again, like yeah, I would be dumping cards, getting stuff out, trying to get as close to those cards as possible. Yeah, Rusine, there's an $800 prize pool pretty much here. We're giving out a case of Lightning Overdrive, guaranteed. We do this for every release, and then we put up a half case on Sunday. So if you guys want to tune in tomorrow, we'll be putting up a half case guarantee for those who want to redeem Redemption. Redemption Tournament. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. And if you miss this one, we have a remote dual uh, Lightning Overdrive case tournament June 20th. That's going to be a Sunday. And then if you are in the area or you guys want to travel out to a con, make sure you check out Trading Card Game Con uh, during June 26th, 27th in Tampa, Florida. There's going to be hundreds of vendors there. There's going to be hundreds of people. And we're going to be hosting a Yu-Gi-Oh! Half Case Tournament on Saturday and a Digimon Half Case Tournament on sun uh, Sunday and then Saturday. Yeah, Saturday is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sunday is Digimon. So definitely check that out. Uh, cons are really exciting. Nobody's been to a con for almost like a year. But they're starting to, to pop back up now that, you know, vaccinations are on, almost in full effect. So definitely plan that out if you haven't already. We're pretty much, you know, less than a month away. Almost like three weeks. It's going to yep. be really fun. Can't wait. Definitely get out there if you guys haven't been to an event. It would be a really cool experience to be at a con. So much to do. We got Melvin just walling up now, but I don't see why he's walling up because that's not where the the damage is coming. <laughs> yeah, he's not getting attacked anytime yeah. soon. Yeah. Just He's gotta deal with that cauldron. He's got a he's got death scarabs face down, but not that it would do anything, but you know, good old flip effect destroy <laughs> back row. <laughs> flip it back face down. <laughs> I don't think he'll do anything with the uh, Mystic Mind, but hey, it would be cool. <laughs> already signed up for TCG Con. Can't wait. Oh, Snag Blocks already knows. Ahead of the curve. It's going to be so fun. Remember, these events are capped, guys. There's not like infinite space for any of our yes. events, so definitely pre register. You always get something for participation, so it never feels bad. Even these guys here, they paid 20 bucks for five packs. People do that without getting anything. They just go to the local game store. They're like, yeah, let me buy five packs. Here's yeah. 20 bucks. At least here you get a you chance get, to win a lot more. You get a chance to more. play against the best on the closest thing to national television as you're going to get. <laughs> 500 viewers. Yeah, Mystic Mine is going burr right now. It's just pain. Oh, we got oh, a twin. We got the first action here. Oh, twin pay cost. Curse seal. seal. Is there a response from Red Reboot? Reboot, is that going to be enough? So he's going to pop. Jeff nodding his head. Oh, so he's not going to take the burn damage now. Yeah, Melvin was just waiting for this sequence. Oh, no. Uh-oh, this is getting good. No, no, he's going to reset that, though, so... He only plays Metaverse. That's the only other trap in his deck. 
they're running low on time. They do not have the 50 seconds that we see on screen. They probably here. have about like four yeah, minutes. Yeah, I would say about seconds. four minutes. But what what happens in the end of match in Yu-Gi-Oh exactly is to whoever is ahead on life points game three. Whoever or? who's ahead on life points in okay. the current phase. And and Melvin might have taken already oh, too much damage. Oh no, he had another, another oracle. One. So again, like I was saying, like I iterated earlier, that's Jeff's only win con there. Jeff's win con is the only cauldron. The of, yeah. So, but I mean, maybe he's far enough on life points that it doesn't. No, this isn't time, guys. This isn't time. They still have like another four or five. Minutes. Yeah, the red reboot uh, was caught there by the players. And also the, the resetting is a, uh, that's a optional effect. You don't have to set. So depending on what Jeff has, he may not have a, um, a normal trap to set. Ah, uh, right, because he only plays the metaverse, right? Yep. Yeah, one trap in this, uh, what looks like a trap deck, but actually all spells. Prohibition. What call, does he call here? He probably calls Cosmic because that's the only real thing. True. It's the only out to his Mystic, right? It's not time, guys. Passing here. It's not a lot. Pot of Desires. Melvin looking at his banish pile, not too fond of it. Time is left. <clears throat> There's about two minutes left in the clock, so Melvin has two minutes to uh, get this going, but probably call Twin Twister, maybe even Cosmic. He knows that he's, he's seen the Cosmic. Tanky at the top or at the bottom. Yeah, I think Jeff just wins this be uh, because of time. This is uh, it's not looking good for Melvin. Melvin's just walling up now, but I don't I don't know where Melvin goes from here. Prohibition was a really big card, but I think this having the second goddess. Is really, really putting in work. Got another left arm offering. Oh, another prohibition. This is uh, this is actually the end of the game. He's gonna call cosmic, and that's it. Change the cosmic. Why doesn't Melvin use the cosmic to get rid of the mystic mind? have a card to discard for this it's not over yet yeah I think he's just reading the he's just reading the field barrier and he's like yeah curse seal is set but he doesn't have a card to discard for oh, it oh no not like this so it's Melvin's turn now and he didn't and he didn't have the uh, he didn't call the cosmic Oh no. What did he call? The comeback. 
The comeback. He's free, boys. Oh, no. He's got to hurry. He's going to get no. hit by time here. Oh, no. He's fumbling and bumbling and zumbling and bumbling. And he's trying to figure out what's a legal play, what's not a legal play. Oh, is that over? No, I don't think he has the time to make the attack. He doesn't have the time to make oh, the attack. Oh, my lord. That split second that he took to read the Mystic Mind. I mean, the Field Barrier, actually. Yeah. Because he was, like, reading it and processing it. Because he initially selected the Prohibition, though. Yes, initially selected the Prohibition. I think he didn't, he didn't knew, know exactly <laughs> what Field Barrier said. It just can't be destroyed. But that's why Cosmic's so good. So good. No, not like this. Yeah, there's, wow, I believe Jeff Leonard yeah. wins there. I'm going to get confirmation here, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so Jeff won. Jeff Leonard. Jeff with the win there. With the win. The, the clock, his best friend. Mystic Mind and the clock, just two best friends made in heaven. Melvin, just not enough time to sequence out his attacks. Oh, man. You, you hate to see you it. You hate to see it, but, like, still, That's, it was it's a strategy. So, yeah, I mean, it's a strategy, first of all, legit, especially in Mystic Mind. Again, this is something that Konami has not addressed. <laughs> they feel like this is not a problem as far as the time roll. And, yeah, it's 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 just something that happens. I mean, as Melvin, you got to kick yourself too, because uh, there was times where he kind of delayed something. Yeah, know? he just delayed when he could have been playing. You know, like yeah. maybe he didn't know that he could target the field spell no, yeah, with the cosmic. Didn't, no, didn't, yeah. So it's just something you and know. And Jeff let him take him back too, like because he, he. I think Jeff is a good sport about it too. Definitely, yeah, yeah. So definitely, you know, this nothing is not, against yeah. both of these players. They're super, super well known, and, and it's just unfortunate players, the way yeah. that the rules are and, and the time rules. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just unfortunate. It's something that. Maybe Konami needs to address. Yeah, yeah. No, at the end of the day, yeah. these players are just playing by the rules, and it, it sucks that it's part of the game. But yeah, they're not like doing said, anything illegal. They're, they're not doing not. anything malicious. So, no, you're not. Whew, man, that was. I'm sweating, man. I, yeah. don't, I don't know about you. I mean, you got like, fast I was, pace at the end. That was, man. Seeing Melvin go through those motions, you could see the sweat drip yeah, he down was his forehead. Very, very nervous there. Oh man, but it's gotta be. It's gotta be intimidating playing against uh, one of the one of the best uh, Mystic Mind players yeah. ever. In <laughs> like I never see the deck do well ever unless Jeff unless he's Jeff playing it, yeah. It. And but, it's um, definitely a deck, but uh, yeah, but we'll we'll be back. We're gonna we're gonna uh, oh, talk with yeah, Jeff for a little bit. We'll be back for round five coming up shortly. Don't go anywhere, guys.